Okay, hello Cloud Gurus. I'm in New York where I've just been attending the AWS Summit. There's been a ton of new announcements this week to make up for last week. There's two new services available, which is Macy and Migration Hub. AWS Glue is now generally available. Cloud HSM has had a major upgrade. There's new config rules to help you secure S3. CloudTrail is now enabled by default. There's encryption at rest for EFS and VPC endpoints for DynamoDB are now available. I'm Ryan Krunenberg and you're watching AWS This Week. Okay, so I'm here in New York and I've been attending the AWS Summit and this was the biggest summit I've ever been to. There was over 20,000 registrations. It was almost like a mini reinvent. And I got to meet lots of students and we got lots of photos taken with students and I was interviewed by the Cube and the link is below. So make sure you check it out. We had a big after party on Pier 66 and uh, I won't be back in New York until uh, the next Serverless Conf, which is in mid-October. So if you do want to meet up with me, make sure you come along to Serverless Conf. It is in Avenue Q, so it's in the middle of Manhattan, and it's going to be fantastic. And again, links to serverless comp are below. So there's been two new services released this week. There's Macy and Migration Hub. And so let's start with Macy. Macy allows you to discover, classify, and secure your content at scale. So what do we mean by this? Well, let's take a scenario where you've got a spreadsheet sitting in an S3 bucket, and maybe it contains your customers' names, their addresses, and maybe their social security numbers. And maybe you've accidentally made this thing public. Well, Macy can find this information uh, for you and alert you to it, and it will tell you how severe the, uh, you know, the alert actually is. And it's powered by machine learning and makes use of natural language processing or NLP and it's completely serverless so it helps you to secure your content on S3 at scale. And the other new service released this week was Migration Hub, and this allows you to discover, migrate, and track the migration process of your applications to AWS. And it works with AWS services such as AWS Database Migration Service, as well as AWS Server Migration Service. And also works with third-party tools like Cloud Endure Live Migration or Racemi Dyna Center, and it makes migrating your applications to AWS super, super easy. And so AWS Glue is now generally available. And for those of you that don't know what Glue is, it was launched at reInvent in 2016 and allows you to automate your ETL. ETL is extract, transform, and load your data into AWS. And basically, Glue crawls your data, it infers schemas, and then generates ETL scripts in Python. And there's a great blog post by Randall Hunt which explores how to use it in detail using flight data from the Bureau of Transportation Statistics. And the link to Randall's blog is below. Low. So Cloud HSM has had a major upgrade, and the way they described it is it's even more cloudy. It now works on a pay-as-you-go model. It's fully managed, so you don't have to worry about provisioning, patching, high availability, or backups, and it's more secure than Cloud HSM Classic. And the Federal Information Processing Standards, or FIPS, is now at level 3, whereas Classic was at level 2, and the top level is level 4. So also announced this week, there's been two new rules added to the AWS Config service that help you to secure your S3 buckets. There's the S3 bucket public write prohibited rule, which identifies buckets that have global write access uh, enabled on them. And there's also the S3 bucket public read prohibited rule, which identifies buckets that have global read access enabled on them. And Mark Nanakoven has a great article on read.acloud.guru about securing S3 buckets. Mark's an AWS community hero and an MVP at Trend Micro, and if you're interested in reading it, the link is below. So the good news this week is CloudTrail is now enabled by default for all customers. And AWS CloudTrail captures all account activity and events for supported services made in your AWS account. And it sends these event log files down to Amazon S3, to CloudWatch logs, and to CloudWatch events. And this provides visibility into the past seven days of all your AWS account activity without the need for you to configure a trail in the service to get started. So it is now enabled by default for all customers. And so encryption at rest is now available for EFS and the encryption key can either be a built-in key managed by AWS or a key that you create yourself using KMS and all keys use advanced encryption standard 256. 
Now, VPC endpoints for DynamoDB have now been enabled, and lots of customers deploy their EC2 instances into VPCs. But if you wanted your EC2 instances to be able to communicate to DynamoDB, this had to be done via the internet. Now, with VPC endpoints, your DynamoDB database can actually be inside your VPC with no external access being allowed in. And this makes your DynamoDB uh, database even more secure and locked down from the outside world. So that is it for this week's show, guys. I'm actually on vacation next week, so AWS This Week will be uh, filmed by my brother Sam Krunenberg in Melbourne. And I'm actually taking the kids down to Disney World, so I'm gonna take a much-deserved break and take a week off. But I'll see you in a couple of weeks, Cloud Gurus. Keep being awesome.